Welcome. Today, Lucas Milhaupt is going to demonstrate brazing copper tubing to brass using our Silphos and Handy Flux products. The phosphorus in Silphos brazing alloy gives it a self-fluxing ability when used on copper. However, it is required that flux be used when brazing other copper alloys, such as brass or bronze. Remember the functions of flux in brazing are, it protects the filler and base metal from oxygen during heating. It dissolves and absorbs any oxides for cleanliness. Flux also helps the filler metal to flow by reducing surface tension. And it acts as a temperature indicator during heating. Step one is to remove any temperature sensitive parts, then clean the tubing and fitting. Parts should be properly cut and reamed to remove burrs. Cleaning should be performed so that the surface contaminants are removed without unwarranted loss of the base metals. Lightly roughen the tube ends and the fitting with wire brushes, steel wool, or fine grades of abrasive papers. Any residual particles in the joint surfaces should be avoided, and any residue remaining after mechanical cleaning must be removed. Step two is to add flux. Here we apply the flux with a small acid brush. Step three is to insert the tubing into the brass part. Here we insert the tubing, making sure that the tubing seats against the bottom of the brass fitting. Support the tube and fitting assembly to provide a consistent gap around the entire circumference of the joint. Step four is to uniformly heat the braze area. We're using an oxygen acetylene torch. However, air acetylene with a proper tip or any fuel gas that can rapidly heat copper would also be suitable. A reducing flame is recommended. The flame should be soft enough and large enough to envelop both the tube and fitting. Begin heating with the flame perpendicular to the tube. The copper tube conducts the initial heat into the fitting for even distribution of heat in the joint area. The amount of heating depends upon the size of the joint. Experience will determine the amount of time needed. Next, move the flame onto the fitting. Then direct the flame from the fitting back onto the tube a distance equal to the depth of the fitting. Step five is to allow the alloy to be drawn by capillary action into the joint. The alloy flows from the outside to the inside by way of capillary attraction. Heat towards the top for a second or two to pull the alloy through. The alloy will flow to the area with the highest heat, completely penetrating the joint. Step six is to clean any residual flux from the part using hot water. Cleaning will help you inspect the joint and it limits the possibility of corrosion. After cleaning, inspect the joint for a small uniform fillet at the braze joint. The presence of a fillet indicates that the filler metal has completely flowed from one end of the joint to the other. As we have seen, you can braze copper tubing and brass quickly and easily with Lucas Milhaupt's Silphos and Handy Flux. To review, our steps were 1. Clean the tubing and fitting. 2. Add flux. 3. Insert the tubing, ensuring contact with the brass at the bottom. 4. Uniformly apply heat and add alloy. 5. Watch as the alloy is drawn around the joint. And 6. Clean the flux and inspect the joint. For more information, please visit our website or contact your Lucas Milhaupt representative. Thank you.